Here are five things that every person with OCD should know. I'm gonna break it down. Here's number one. Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels. I'm a therapist and I make videos for people with anxiety or OCD. And I'm going to go through the five things that I feel like everybody who has OCD should know, but a lot of people don't know. And so this video is point number one, fact number one thing that you should know. I hope that you join me in this series. I'll be making four more videos in this series to go over each point individually. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified so you don't miss number two, which will come out next Thursday. Okay, so let me just talk to you about the first one. The first one, and maybe it seems obvious, but for a lot of people it's not, is that everybody has some level of intrusive thoughts or feelings. It's, it's normal, it's part of the human experience. Researchers in 2020 showed that we have over 6,000 thoughts per day. That's crazy, oop, there's another one. That's crazy, there's another one, right? And a lot of those are junk. I'll have intrusive thoughts or feelings, but I'll be like, whoa, why did I have that? People will have thoughts and feelings that don't align with their beliefs or are impulsive thoughts. What if I do this? Or what if I did that? Or what if I had done that? Or what if she did that? Or even hyper-focusing on their bodily functions. Oh my gosh, I swallowed again. Will I ever swallow again? I did it again. What if I don't catch my breath? Oh, I have this image stuck in my head. What if it doesn't go away? Or I have this song stuck in my head. I've been singing it for days. The difference is that when you have OCD, those gears, that filter in your brain is not working properly. So a lot of us will have a thought and we'll go, oh my gosh, that's so bizarre. And then boom, it's gone. We may not even notice it. Oop, I had this weird thought, boop, it's gone. I can, can barely even hold on to it before it disappears. But when you have OCD, there's that weird thought, there's that weird feeling, there's that weird thought, and it's just sitting there and now you notice it. Now, why would I have that thought or feeling? That's concerning. And now I'm gonna give it more importance than it deserves. Well, oh my gosh, let me take this out and look at it. What if this never goes away? This makes me really uncomfortable. And so the difference isn't the thought, intrusive thought or feeling that you're having. The difference is that it's sticking around. And so those thoughts, those 6,000 plus thoughts that are happening each day are just boop, 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 boop. They're getting cycled out and yours are piling up and your filter will work. But the problem is you take these thoughts and feelings and you give it all the significance and then you look at it and you're like, okay, this is really embarrassing or this is, this is weird or I can't share these because what if people think I'm crazy or nuts or disgusting or perverted or bizarre? What if I'm the only one who ever has the, these kind of thoughts? So I'm gonna keep them to myself. And the problem with that well, there's a couple of problems. One, you wind up not telling anybody. And so you may not even share it with your therapist, your friends or family for sure, because you don't want them to think you're crazy, perverted, disgusting, um, weird, or whatever it is for you. And those thoughts and feelings will be different for each person, depending on what thoughts and feelings you have and who you are as a person. But when you shut down that communication and you say, I'm not sharing this with anybody, then you don't give anyone an opportunity in the mental health world to diagnose you or to let you know, hey, that's common. That's called OCD. And even if you have OCD, you might say, well, I'm gonna keep the weirdest ones to myself because I know that that stuff is OCD, but this stuff, probably not. This is just because I'm a disgusting, weird, embarrassing person, whatever it is for you. But the fact is, I, as a therapist, have never heard an intrusive thought or feeling that I hadn't heard before. They're all very similar. And so there's nothing that anyone in the OCD world hasn't probably experienced on some, some level or, have, or, or has had, because that's the nature of OCD. It will give you upsetting, disgusting, bizarre, weird, uncomfortable thoughts, right? And even if they're not any of those things, they might give you thoughts that say, why am I thinking this? Or why am I so stuck on this? I in intellectually know this doesn't make any sense. Or everybody else can go around going to the bathroom once or twice, but why am I so hyper-focused on my bladder or my breathing or my blinking? Or everybody else can get songs stuck in their head, but I have to think about it 24 seven, will this ever go away? 
OCD has so many different themes and variations that it will look very, very different for you. And that's why I try to give you um, a splattering of examples that are, that are really different than just the ones that we tend to know about, like germs or contamination, right? Because there's a lot of other ones too. And because the media in general doesn't really educate the world, you know, it kind of perpetuates the stereotype of what OCD is, it makes people with OCD who have all these intrusive thoughts and feelings that don't fit in that little tiny meme box to feel weird and different and embarrassed. And so you don't get the help that you need you feel alone, which can create more hopelessness. You don't reach out. It doesn't get validated or normalized the way that it should. And you wind up suffering more. So first thing that every person who has OCD should know is you're not alone. And we all have intrusive thoughts and feelings. And those with OCD have the same types of themes getting stuck in their head. I guarantee it. And so I want you to know that you're not alone. And I hope that you'll join me for point number two next week. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified because I am going to be bringing out new videos in this series every week until I get to the final five. All right, well, I hope that you find the sparkle in everything you do and I'll talk to you again next Thursday. Take care.